Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Pipistrol Electric Aircraft is in production. iFlight Planner offers free duets replacement. A new ASTM International Specification supports ice detection on small aircraft. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's May 16th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. A growing presence at each year's AirVenture fly-ins has been the availability of a number of electrically powered aircraft. While most are concept aircraft hoping for eventual production, one, the Pipistro Alpha Electro, is already in production and for sale. So for this week's All-Star feature, we have to admit serious anticipation in regards to what's next for the composite electric two-place training bird. The capabilities of the Alpha Electro two-seat electric trainer were tailored to meet the needs of today's flight schools. The bird boasts short takeoff distances, a powerful 1,000 plus FPM climb, and a current endurance of one hour plus reserve. The Alpha Electro is specifically optimized for traffic pattern operations, where 13% of energy is recuperated on every approach, increasing endurance, and at the same time, enabling short field landings. The electric powertrain is operated via a single lever, keeping cockpit shores to a dull roar. Using a smart charger, the power needs of the Alpha Electro are met as easily as charging a mobile phone. The Alpha Electro will be but one of several electric airplanes fielded by Pipistrol at this year's AirVenture, and we look forward to flying each of them. More info to follow soon. After the break, BRS Parachute Rescue System receives German approval for ultralight aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Unmanned, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news by at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. BRS Aerospace has received a type certification in accordance with German certification regulations from Deutsche Aero Club for a whole aircraft parachute rescue system for the country's new class of 600 kilogram ultralight aircraft. This was the second type certificate that BRS Aerospace has received recently to comply with new regulations for ultralight parachute rescue systems, published by German authorities in 2017. After more than three decades of spectacular weather during the world-famous Joe Nall RC event, the forecast for the remainder of the week has forced the board to make the decision to cancel the event and move everyone off the beautiful Triple Tree grounds. In a notice posted on the Triple Tree website, the board said that the very difficult decision was made only after carefully considering the safety of those attending the event. NASA is sending a helicopter to Mars. The agency's Mars helicopter, a small autonomous rotorcraft, will travel with the agency's Mars 2020 rover, currently scheduled to launch in July 2020, to demonstrate the viability and potential of heavier-than-air vehicles on the Red Planet. Creekview High School of Canton, Georgia has taken home the top prize at the world's largest and most competitive student rocketry contest, the Team America Rocketry Challenge. The students from Creekview will now represent the United States at the International Rocketry Challenge, 
at the Farnborough Air Show outside of London in July, facing off against teams from the UK, France, and Japan. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The FAA discontinues direct user access terminal service at 23.59 Eastern Time tonight. And for pilots in search of a DOS replacement, iFlight Planner is encouraging them to look no further than iFlight Planner free membership. All single pilot iFlight Planner memberships include comprehensive web-based flight planning, digital aeronautical charts, high-res weather imagery, certified weather briefs, and flight plan filing through Lido's flight service and wireless sync functionality with iFlight Planner for iPad. All at no cost with zero obligation to upgrade. We were the first to bring wireless sync technology to the EFB market when we introduced iFlight Planner for iPad to complement iFlightPlanner.com, said Andy Matthews, iFlight Planner's Director of Business Development. And now we're one of the last flight planning providers to offer a membership that is completely free to its users iFlight Planner Premium members enjoy enhanced features both online and in Flight Planners for iPad. With iFlight Planner Premium Plus members have access to its complete set of geo-referenced U.S. airport diagrams and instrument approach procedures on the iPad. After these messages, new ASTM International Specification supports ice detection on small aircraft. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. A new ASTM International Standard aims to enhance small aircraft safety by supporting non essential ice detectors. The new specification was developed by ASTM International's Committee on General Aviation Aircraft. According to ASTM International member Dennis Ragnier, devices such as cab ice protection can help notify a pilot when the plane encounters icing conditions. Typically, a general aviation pilot relies on visual cues to know when icing is encountered, says Ragnier. An ice detector can be especially useful when the time between checking for these visual cues lengthens, such as when a pilot has a high workload environment. Regnier says that when used in conjunction with current regulatory policies, such as the FAA's non-required safety-enhancing equipment policy, the standard can also simplify installations and approvals of non-essential ice detectors. However, no certification credit is given to installing such devices, he notes. The standard could be useful for both ice detector manufacturers and aircraft pilots. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airborne Unmained on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.